Welcome back to another animation analysis, and today I'm going to take a look at the Valorant Episode 2 cinematic called Retake. And this is brought to you by Adam, who asked for a review and analysis. And actually, I have other people who have asked for other things. Don't worry, these are all coming. I have a long list, but this is also a really cool clip that I want to take a look at myself. So thank you, Adam, for pointing me towards that. Starts off with blood, language, and violence. But it also starts off with cool text. I'm a big fan of this. This is, of course, going to be a animation analysis and somewhat slash reaction since someone a long time ago commented that I'm also reacting to things. But let me tell you, as we go through this, and I love this too, as we go through the camera and then this happens here, it's cool. I love this. And when I was looking at Duelist, I was also commenting on the 2D effects, which I love in here. And right off the bat, what I love about this here is that all these shapes are different and they have paths. That's the first thing I saw when I started watching this. Wait, they have a little pass. All of that has a little bit of a swivel. Look at that, that little guy here, that little own thing. That's super cool. Again, visually looking very cool. I love that painterly look. And right off the bat, we're starting here. And you imagine you get that shot, right? Hey, your shot is an eye. <laughs> and you go, really? Okay. But then look at this. It just has, already that has just a couple of frames here. A little bit of snappy action, and then a look, squint, and a little dart. Just again, it's really well done, and you can't underestimate those small shots. You gotta do them really well. And again, going back into this here, just every single detail. I love this that from this POV, of course, this is what we're looking at. And you can see a little bit of a that's because of, that's the view there. And I love that we kind of, I mean, for me, I'm looking at this here because it has the biggest contrast in terms of silhouettes. And then I'm seeing a big move down here. So then the eye goes down here. By the time we're here, she brings it down. The camera goes down as well. Fa-bam! To focus on this. It's a small little thing, but again, it's very clever. I like it. And then, of course, we got the super cool renders. That's all very cool. This one, what I like about this shot, too, is that this is something that I talk to my students a lot, is that when you have a lip sync, and if you watch my channel, you're probably tired of me saying this, but you want to be careful that you don't just have shapes here and nothing else is being influenced. And I don't mean if you do a smile that it also brings up the cheeks, you know, the, the fleshiness of this, and it's going to push the eyelids here. Anything here with the eyebrows, when you talk, it might bring down the nose tip, but it's also head accents. So when you have this here, what's taking so long? That's what he's saying right here. You got that little a bit of a fast head turn and then on take a bit of a sharper head drop here. And then this here, it's just kind of his, oh, like he's so annoyed. You got the widening of the eyes and the eyebrows, a bit of a rotation sideways roll on the head into long, you can see that long, even that, the energy of that head turn here, that mimics and kind of matches what he says here, long. So what's taking so long? Not that you have to do lip sync where everything you say is long and you adjust the head to match all of this. No, of course not. But you can, you can at least start with it and see where it goes. But it definitely matches the intensity and energy of the voice. I know we're barely started with the cinematic and already four minutes into this, but this is just really, really cool. And it's something that if you're watching this and your students, really pay attention to what is the character saying? What's the energy? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it energetic? Is it sad? And how can you emphasize that with the head so it doesn't feel like there's a disconnect between audio and the even like even with the body here? It's really neat to watch this over and over, but I'm not. Even that here, the physical things, as he pulls this, has a bit of a change in the weapon back there. And you can see how this goes down and it kind of stops at the end, but still takes the body down with it. So this goes again to something that I talk to my students uh, about a lot is that if you have an arm move, it's going to influence the rest of the body. It can't just be separate in this area and have no influence on the rest. So really look at the body mechanics of this. That's cool too. By the way, I have no idea. I, I, I don't have time to play games anymore. I have no idea what those characters are. To me, it's always like completely new. Like, I don't know who this character is, but this is cool. I like that. I like how it kind of starts in the shadow, but it has brighter highlight to look at this here. It's very cool. Also, goes towards this. Also, the line leads to that, right? Subtle stuff, but cool. I like this here too. This feels, seems very uh, consistent with the character, especially this here. Ready? And that. 
I did that in the previous one as well. But there's a lot of cool stuff in there. I'm not gonna go through everything frame by frame. This would take forever. But still, great bottom mechanics. Little subtle hair animation, which I like because it's not too silky and soft. It kind of talks about the, or talks about, kind of showcases the texture and the thickness of it. It's always kind of a, a big pitfall in hair simulation where the hair is just too flowy and soft. I love this too, how he activates the back with the lean forward and then that twist there and the change in the head. It's just a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. Love all these effects here. It's great. So cool with the eyes, the that. Anyway, let's continue on. That's cool too. Come on. I know it's, everything's cool, but look at that. I mean, just look at this. Love all this. Love all that. The fire here. And then let's go frame by frame here. Come on. Look at that. Every frame is driven. So cool. Love this here. And then leads into that. Look at that. Nice line of action here. A lot of energy in this. And love how it also has a path there. Gets into a great silhouette. There's so much that's so cool here. This is not just for, you know, for the channel, for students to watch this. This is for me. I go through that stuff frame by frame and I take notes. Like, okay, what is what is so cool here? Like the energy. She goes back again, clean silhouette. I like the streaks here. Also with the, the lens. It's so wide. A bit of a deformation there. And the, uh, you know, in the view of you know, a lens like that. It's just lots of little details. Also here, you can see when this body stops. It doesn't just stop on a dime. You have... If this stops, but this is going this way, this is again something I talk a lot to students about, is momentum and how you have to continue. If this stops, the rest has to continue to just give it some weight. Now you can make this a bit stiffer, this could be a bit softer, but you can't just have everything stop at the same time. Now I say this in the could be a certain style where it's very minimal and you could potentially get away with it, but if it's not, if it's that's the style, you have to look at the weight and momentum and, and the continuation momentum when something stops and so on and so on. Cool detail to do here. Offset hand poses. You got a reaction here on this. You got awesome lighting. So nice staging there with these two. Love that too, that's cool. I noticed that when I was watching this, how he gets in, he's got all that lighting there. But then as it goes through, it's almost like a, it's like a separate frame here, but just that, where you just have this here, even though it's just, it's part of the environment. He's not in a separate environment. It almost feels very graphic novelly. Very cool. That's cool too for contrast, right? It's not just a cycle. It kind of dips down to avoid this, but it gives you a path. There's more complexity in the animation. That's cool too. So, I mean, basically everything is cool. I just like the, like I said before, the look of this, because it still has complex renders and shading and everything and cool lighting, but still the painterly 2D effect. It's really neat. That's cool too, even this here. Simple thing, but little look, right? You gotta dart over with the head to analyze. You have to look at something, right? And then give it time for that information basically to come back so that whoever is watching this can process the information and then react. Again, it seems simple, but watch this in real time, right? Goes forward, see this, huh, huh. Just give it enough time, so otherwise it feels too mechanical or that the character is not thinking. It's a simple thing, but Look first, give it time for the character to process that information and then make the choice there. Get a little detail stuff in the fingers here. Ooh, that's cool too. A rack focus here, going into that. Of course, being in snow, you have a very clean silhouette. That's cool, I like that. And this is really cool too. Again, I don't know the characters, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, aware of any of this. And I really like that, the idea of being its, you know, invisible bubble, then tearing open that world to come out of that. That's really, really cool. All of that, what's having eyes visible, you don't hide them too much. And of course, lines, lines, all of that to this. Really, really cool. I'm always kind of looking at when you have a whatever, like whatever prop you have, anything that you interact with and you got a squeeze, right? You you do something with it. How much detail is the animator and how much am I putting into this? And there is detail. You got even the chamber turning. Got a reaction there too. It's cool. Lots of cool stuff. That's weird. Wow. Every frame. Remember that channel that every frame is a painting? Every frame a painting? It's basically that. Come on. It's very cool. Ooh. Nice silhouette too with the Cool hand pose. 
preparing this here into that launch. That's super cool. The thing is, when I watch this, I just want to stop doing what I'm doing, which I can't. I have a job, but that's really cool. I want to animate some 2D stuff next to CG stuff. It's really neat. You always talk about the Resident Studio in terms of composition. And you have thirds, my crappily drawn thirds. I mean, there are different ways of splitting up your frame and, and, and composing things. Um, but it's kind of a, a common thing. But you can also have center frame. Like a lot of stuff to give it more importance is centered. But then it also gives you then, you know, room for thirds again for this character. But the more important thing is center. That's totally fine too. Cool, cool, cool. Again, you can see here, character goes this way stops with this, wants to change direction, but the body here, all that momentum and energy and flow, that movement can not just change direction with this. So this has to stop it, right? So if this is going this way, this leg stopping the root here, you got to give the root a couple frames to come to a stop. And then all those muscles activate to push this way. And at the same time, all of this moving has to overlap, drag a bit, go back into this and once you're around you know whatever is here right then there's enough energy well i push now and now i can snap back into this it's very cool so i need to oh it's tricky pushing off finger detail foot soft you know what i mean it's like it's not just it's not just a simple foot plant you got the angle right because it's angled this way it's not your default rotation in the channel that goes down, so it has a bit of an angle. And then as the body goes over, you have to pivot off of here. Slight change of rotation there. Detail stuff, but it's cool. Always cool hand poses. You can see the finger details. I, I'm always kind of looking at finger poses. I'm, I'm a big fan of very detailed finger poses and you know, like facial poses as well, but that stuff is great. Anytime there's a character with a tail, I really look at that because I am really bad at animating tails there i said it it's official <laughs> i am really bad it takes me forever oh yeah that's cool to be honest i've watched this only once and in my little brain i already forgot that moment ah oh, that's cool look at that sorry I'm, I'm looking at all this because you got the details here you got the 2d effects but then you got the weight as this drops down but the rest doesn't doesn't snap like this it has to swing back, right? Gets her off balance and oh, it's that moment here. So you got, this is like the one of those times where I tell my students, when you have something moving, right? You can't have a one frame direction change. You have to look at your spacing. So ease in and out, and you have to have arcs, blah, 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 unless there's an outside force. So someone will push her or she or it or whatever character you have hits another object that will stop that. And then you can have a one frame direction change. But even then you're still gonna have continuation for instance this right the head is not hitting this so the head is going to continue oh she makes it hard that's super cool i really like that as an ability here to stop this with the timing that's your look at a moving hold right you still got the arc helped out by that 2d effect here and it continues to go up because you want to the energy is going this way so your hold is going to continue that way within a slight release as she comes down it's very cool even this here keeps having a little bit of a flap and then drag. You can see a bit of a stretch here in the head. This is dragging. Lots of cool stuff. Enough weight to in the landing. Watch this. Just enough. She is fast and she goes fast to the right. But to me, it doesn't betray the weight. Watch this again. And it's great. And then you got your impact, of course. So all those elements she is stopping. This is stopping because this non-movable object is stopping all this but the rest continues it feels like this whole cinematic is a lesson on bottom mechanics and momentum and weight and, and continuation of energy and all that dare i say oh. <laughs> see what did i say same thing here ba -bang, right bit looser because you can see this moving so that in impact and how he moves is going to be a bit looser there also i don't have the sound on by the way just because of copyright reasons blah 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 i'm gonna put on my own uh, shout out to Epidemic Sound, <laughs> my Epidemic Sound and music on there. But if you watch this, I have the link in the description of the original trailer. The sound design is really cool. All of these ricochet things is great. But again, look at that. This really feels like all about. That's great. It's a great little moment there. Body mechanics, 
the Apple logo. No, <laughs> like an old Apple logo. But you have the sliding, and then because of that, right, it spreads out the legs. Great silhouette. And then look at that. The body still continues, even though we're done here sliding. Body continues, and then it settles. You have a little bit of up and down. You can see this here. Goes back for a little small anticipation to then down in an arc, always an arc to push off. Full extension on the leg. Ah, oh, so great. This is really just animation one on one. Such a, a lesson here. I love this. Oh, so great. Sorry, I'm nerding out. Anybody watching this for a more in depth analysis? This is one of these. My over the moon is more animation analysis, more you know, a pure form. This is just me geeking out as well. You can hear this, but he has a bit of a oh, bit of a look there. Ooh, like this. You can't underestimate props. I'm a massive fan of props and also animating props. I love animating stuff like that. Look at the timing of the roll and back, right? Ready? Rip up. Even that has personality and what well, personality, you know, whatever personality this prop can have. But contrast and timing. It's not just roll, 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 stop, and right? Gives it a little bit of, of texture, as we say in timing. We as in whatever, the royal we. I learned texture from someone else who told me this is called texture, but this is what I'm saying here. Re great. Of course. Love this. There's a great moment in terms of 2D effect here later. Hold on. That's great. Ooh. Something else. If you do ever this, right? You got that influence. Love this. Feels like this character is really part of this world. That's also very clever, just in terms of guiding the audience. You get all covered, right? Just him. What gets revealed is this. And it's not just a straight line, it has a bit of a change. Again, adding something a bit more of interest with a little bit of movement there. It's very good. Of course, you can re emphasize that with a change of focus. Again, same thing here, right? What is he looking at? Well, let me show you. The hand goes down to where I'm looking at. Ba -ba, revealing with a nice silhouette and a brighter point here what is important. It's very cool. Ooh, nice too in terms of silhouette, right? This goes out, revealing lots of empty space. Bam. Compression in the fingers. Great, great, great. This is the moment here. That's cool. Really, really like this. <sighs> Going through that. And even this, you know, just how it takes part of the smoke. It's so cool. Big fan. I like that moment too, where it's ever so slightly not in control. I'm not saying out of control, like, he, you know, he's falling or something, but he's like, took a bit. Oh, ooh, okay. All right. And then we get back into this. It's small, but it gives him a bit of a layer of he's not con constantly, you mean, in control and he can do everything without any problems. Great timing, too, of that. That swing here. Watch this. Great to love this. Just the holds, the pose, and the snappiness. Great stuff here. hand pose look at that as he goes back right fingers out and then in because of that pull match it kind of pulls in the fingers <laughs> nice that's very cool a double smear here and then hold 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 right you can see the the uh the hair going up for that hold everything continues that motion right one this way one this way on that moving hold into this clean silhouette from the snow hmm, nice way too I mean, obviously, it's going to have a nice weight. They all know what they're doing. <laughs> this is just me going, ooh, I like this. This looks cool. I need to look at this and study this. Also, great continuation of uh, layers. This coming in, pa -pa, giving us enough room for the next layer, next layer in front. Cool designs. Pushed all of this. Look at that. Into this. Oh, love this, right? Shoe comes down, pushes out that smoke. This is more like an appreciation video of 2D effects. Oh, look at that. Just as I said, so cool. Every single frame is cool. And even then, right? Contrast. They're not moving the same. It's just enough offset. Let's say it's focus on him. Back center. So that's, that's the thing, right? As we started, they're looking at something and bam, it's almost like here. This is it. Center. This is of importance. Bam, back. This is of importance. That's cool too. I love this too. Because the thing is, usually you want to keep the face. Usually, I know it's not really a hard rule, but you know, you want to read the, the emotion and what's going on in the character. 
But at this point, this is more important. So let's cover the face. But even then, it still has one eye there. But that is the important part with a little bit of an eye. It's a little very cool. Nicely done. Again, with the drag in the fingers right out and then drags this way. Also the effects giving you this. A little bit of an overshoot. And even the all of this goes off and off this way. Because everything has a really good sense of weight. <laughs> just as I said, even this doesn't just stick there. It has a little bit of ring, a little bit of bounce. It's very cool. Again, give your character enough time to think. It's not just up, down, and going into whatever movement. It has a, what's there? Oh, okay, let me do this. Give your character time to think. Same thing again, right? Gotta give it enough time. There's no one here. Huh. Don't rush through that moment. The character has to do this. And then, uh-oh. Also, cool surprise there. Ready? And... That's because I love all this. Love all that. It creeps over the fist. Great silhouette, too. Color. So cool. Sorry, I have to frame my frame through this. What is going on here? Awesome. Curvature here in that horizon. Look at that. That is cool. Into this. Clean silhouette. Look at that. Again, he stops, right? But the effects continue. He's still got that momentum energy continuing. Always a nice finger pose, hand pose. Always seeing one eye, at least. And then that moment. Great. A little detail in the pupils. The iris. One moment there. That. Such great stuff. And, and, you think something's going to happen? And it is not. <laughs> but it is. I'll also like this too. Like We're concentrated on this. We don't want to be distracted by someone coming in here or here or jump. I mean, you could, I guess, jump in after a certain point. But you want to give this enough breathing room. And then when we're done, casually revealing there's another guy. Again, very clever in terms of staging. Great walk. I love that. Bit of a surprise down there, a bit of awareness of the environment reacting to this. Even this here, look at that. It's not just a foot plant, and then that's it. See this, we're leaning over here, a bit of a movement here going up. Great moment, too. A lot of very clean silhouettes when they draw their guns. Big perspective changes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, look at that. It really just wants me to go, I want to animate this in 2D frame by frame. Do this kind of effect. Engulfs him. So cool. And clean silhouette. For anybody who watches, why does he keep saying clean silhouette? It's just because a lot of times when I critique things, especially with the students, we talk about silhouette where the arm will be, you know, really, you know, imagine that elbow is here where you don't quite understand the structure of the arm. It kind of obscures the head here or whatever you can do to make a silhouette less clear. This is just a really clean silhouette. All of this is really clean. It's very important to that when you watch this, that everything reads. Again, it's a great reveal. A surprise reveal of this. But then when you think, wait, did he just do that? What just happened? And then you can see here also hit. Again, this is the cinematic about weight, body mechanics and weight. Look at this. You got to drop. Wow. That, your kneecap, if you ever drop on a kneecap, that hurts. This is a hard surface. She's not landing on some soft snow or sand or falling into water. This is hard on hard surface. So as this will have to stop, there's no real ease in. Bam! You're going to have a one frame direction change in the route. You can see if you track this, then it's okay. That's okay to have that one frame direction change because, again, this stops. Nothing's going to buckle with your thigh here. Oh, and then you're going to have the impact in this suddenly snapping down a bit faster, right? The head having a better, uh, better, a bigger impact. Watch this in real time here. Hold on. <laughs> Rewinding too far here. And ready, ready? Oh, yeah. You can feel all of that, that harsh impact. And then a bit softer because she's landing this. It's a bit more softer with the, the belly, the chest, and the head, all that. You still got some hard moments in the boots, but totally works. <laughs> Great that he appears in that pose the way he like, wait! 
again enough time don't rush through this right wait what and then reaction Let's do it again i know the, the silhouette talk with a nice triangular hand pose very common keeps it very clean i feel bad for anybody animating this anytime you see finger detail stuff animate like oh it's just taking so long and that's it even that here, right? It's not just a cycle, but he listens. Shrug off to the side. Even at the end, as we pull out, right? We're going to pull out the camera because we're telling the people this is it. We're done. So some detail. Really nice background painting there. Unless this was all geometry and flattened. I don't think so. I hope not. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. This is probably a painting. This is the map texture on, on 3D. Here. And then... That is that. Again, listen to this, the link in the description. Get all kind of sounds here. As this forms, it's very cool. Sound design, super cool. Music is great. Into this, kind of re-establishing, re establishing, kind of redoing that theme of breaks into the other realm. There you go. It's very, very, very cool. I love this. I hope this was somewhat informative. I hope so. And that is that for me. And if you like what I do, feel free to subscribe and like. You know, this is YouTube. You got to have that pitch at the end. I do all kinds of things like these are different animation analysis clips and act analysis and, and you know, all kind of and lectures and product reviews. This is the pitch at the end. I do all kinds of stuff. So if you like this and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. I upload a lot so you don't miss anything. Other than that, this has been a longer one. These clips are usually running really, really long. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next upload.